We're at the Public Works Yard in Welland, and I'm joined by Kurt Anderson, the manager of road and bridge operations. And we're here to talk about uh, the use of beet juice as part of our winter road uh, maintenance program. And Kurt, what is beet juice? Uh, it's a derivative from the agricultural uh, community where it was um, once found uh, during their processes that it would um, uh, prevent freezing in um, liquids in water. So why do we use it as part of our road maintenance operation? Um, a couple of reasons. It's better for the environment. It's uh, less corrosive than sodium chloride, than the salt that we also use. Um, it also works at a cooler temperature, so when we have temperatures like we saw more like last year, or uh, extreme temperatures, it works better, it's more effective. How do we apply it? I'm assuming it involves something like this truck here. So we bring it into the yard, uh, we store it and manufacture our brine and mix with it, and we use a blended material, uh, beet brine mix uh, at 70-30%, and it's um, loaded onto the trucks, uh, the operators uh, load it right here, and. Um, there's a spray bar in the back of the truck and it's applied that way. I understand we're one of the uh, first users of beet juice. How long have we been using it in Niagara? Yeah, we were kind of ahead of the curve on that. We were um, some of the front runners. Uh, we've been using it several years now. So this is the beet juice that we use, uh, typically that we use on the road. Um, it has a consistency, like you can see it's quite thick and it, I don't know if you can smell it, but it, uh, it's got quite a smell to it too. It's pretty sticky and that helps as well when we're using that. What makes beet juice more effective than just using road salt alone? So when we pre-wet the salt as it's coming off the conveyor out of the truck, uh, we use a uh, beet blend mixture or just brine. And the reason we do that is to prevent scatter um, from the road. If it's just a dry material hitting the road, there's a lot of bounce and scatter and a percentage of that material is lost to the shoulder and to the ditch. So this way, by pre-wetting, we can have that material hit the road and stick and start um, a brine immediately and start cutting that, uh, that snow. Can you give me a sense of the volume of uh, product that we use? Uh, yeah, so a truck, the capacity of a truck is in the neighborhood of 2,300 liters. Uh, if we load all of our three tanks on the truck, um, to do any one patrol, to do all the priorities, and that's what we do, is generally in the neighborhood to four to 5,000 liters. That's a lot of beets and a lot of beet juice. Not just good to eat, but also keeping you safe on the roads. I'm here with Kurt Anderson. We'll see you again.